Vietnam students. Today we are going to learn about fungi. Fungi is a one of the kingdom of arithmetical classification. Okay? Here this kingdom fungi fungi kingdom includes include heterotrophic organisms. So, what is heterotrophic organism? Heterotrophic organism means these organisms do not have chlorophyll material, chlorophyll pigments. So, that's why they cannot prepare their own food material. They depend upon other organisms. So, that's why they are called heterotrophic organisms. Most of the fungi, not most, 100% of the fungi are heterotrophic organism only. So this fungi kingdom includes heterotrophic organism. And the reserved food material, the reserved, reserved food material is glycogen, is glycogen. You know very well, glycogen is a polymer of glucose. It is generally present in, if it is humans, in humans, this glycogen is also reserved food material, just like in fungus. This glycogen is stored in the liver. Glycogen is a polymer of, polymer of glucose, polymer of glucose. The synthesis of glycogen from glucose is called gluconeogenesis. Sorry, glycogenesis. Okay? Glycogenesis. And the cell wall, the cell wall of fungi is made up of, cell wall of fungi is made up of chitin material. Chitin material. But in the case of plants, the cell wall is made up of cellulose. But here in the fungi, the cell wall is present, cell wall is made up of chitin material. So these are the important characteristic features of fungi. And if you see the thallus structure of the body of the fungi, some fungi are unicellular. Some fungi are unicellular. Only one cell is present, just like single cell algae, Lavadomonas. And this some fungi are unicellular. Example, yeast. Example, yeast. Second type of fungi, some fungi. Some fungi are in some fungi we can find slender, thin, slender, thread-like structures, thread-like structures. Thin, slender. Thread-like structures. These thread-like structures are called hyphae. These structures are called these thread-like structures are called hyphae. A group of hyper filaments. A group of hyphae filaments are called mycelium. A group of hyper filaments. Hyper filaments are called Mycelium. Mycelium. Very, very important. So, the body of the fungi is called mycelium. And here, this mycelium is two types. First one is 
एसेप्टेट माइसिलियम एसेप्टेट एंड सेप्टेट एसेप्टेट एंड सेप्टेट व्हाट इज एसेप्टेट एसेप्टेट माइसिलियम डू नॉट कंटेन एनी क्रॉस वॉल्स इन द हाइपर फिलामेंट्स हाइपर फिलामेंट्स मींस दे आर ट्यूब लाइक स्ट्रक्चर दे आर ट्यूब लाइक स्ट्रक्चर these are the hyper filaments okay these are hyper filaments here in this hyper filaments we cannot find any cross walls and you know? we cannot find any cross walls so due to the absence of cross walls these hyper filament look like small tubes very thin tube like structures so in this tube like structures multi nuclear protoplasm is present multi nuclear these tube like structures are filled with multi nuclear protoplasm protoplasm so what is multi nuclear multi nucleated means more than many more than one nucleus is present so that is called multi nuclear multi nuclear protoplasm is present in accepted mycelium this condition is called xenocytic xeno cyte xeno cyte condition okay next one septate mycelium septate mycelium what is septate mycelium the name itself indicates that the mycelium hyper filament group of hyper filament is in the tuber mycelium here the hyper filaments have internal cross walls internal cross walls that means they contain cross walls so here these are called septa these cross walls are called septa so the mycelium is the mycelium is divided into number of cells this is one cell this is one cell this is one cell this is one cell here one cell each cell contain one nucleus each cell contain one nucleus we cannot call it as a xenocytic what is xenocytic in xenocytic mycelium there is no cross walls except the formation so this tube like structures are filled with multi nuclear protoplasm that is called xenocyte here the hyper hyper is divided into individual cells and each cells contain one nucleus this is called septate mycelium septate mycelium and if you see the classification of fungi fungi is divided into four groups first one is phycomyces Phycomyces. Second one is Ascomyces. Third one is Basidiomyces. Basidiomyces. And fourth one is Dutyromyces. Dutyromyces. So these are the four types of. plus is and branches can be called okay four groups of fungi here is phycomyces most of the phycomyces members dwell or live in the water the best example is mucor rhizopus and mucor rhizopus and algo so this rhizopus we have seen in our house in our homes just like a spoiled bed on spoiled bed we can find a small cotton ego white cotton ego that is nothing but rhizopus fungi okay and this algo we can find this algo on the leaves of mustard plant okay telugu lo aavalu antu And here, ascomyces, penicillium, 
penicillin is belongs to ascomycetes these from these ascomycetes members we have isolated antibiotics example penicillin okay and basidiomycetes are nothing but they are also called bracket fungi mushrooms okay you might have heard the name mushrooms okay putta kodugulu anna and deuteromycetes deuteromycetes fungi are called imperfect fungi why because we cannot find sexual reproduction in the members of deuteromycetes that is why it is called deutero imperfect fungi okay hope you understood thank you